don't, don't even have time for that because we have to start th thinking about the card draws. All right, so um, if you guys will look to the bottom, you can see a live view of the current card draw that Pool 1 is currently doing. In this gauntlet round, there will uh, be a total of four players competing against each other. And uh, we're doing something called a waterfall bracket. If you tuned into CHQ and Byte, even the amateurs division. Mistake on the leg. A lot of uh, pump it up tourneys these days are doing waterfall format. But the idea is that, you know, players have already, we've already done qualifiers. Turn game ball you down a little bit. Turn game ball. Uh, one second. Yeah, so uh, for waterfall format, basically the idea is that there are uh, qualifiers that all of these uh, 28 contestants had to submit prior to today. Um, and there are a range of difficulties from like S12 to D24, S10 to D24. Um, from those qualifiers, they were seeded into this linear array of things. Uh, and we can pull up some infographics for that. But the idea is that we are starting from the very start of the pool, and players will compete to fight their way up this like waterfall format to face tougher and tougher opponents as the day goes on. So it's going to be very exciting. It's only three stars. They have to do training. Yeah, they got to do. Yo, wait, it's warm up. It's warm up. Oh, okay, okay. It's warm up, so they're okay. Um, but yeah, <laughs> a lot of stuff is going on. There is a little bit of a uh, little bit of setup, grabbing all the players up. and everything. I don't think that I don't think they're doing warm up. You think they're jumping straight into it? You want me to, you want me to tell them? Yeah. Probably Adrian. Sure. Adrian. Is this warm up? Oh wait, warm up. Get yeah, one song. Warm one up. song warm up. Pick anything. Pick anything. Oh, Adrian. By the way, for waterfall, we're going to we have to do a premium mode so they can actually play four songs. And the mirror. You need a card, which is. Uh, you know what? I, I I'm down for free rating, so give me give, give my card. <laughs> Bit of hiccups at the start. We're still just making sure that the players and uh, everybody's on the same page. Sorry, we're trying out a lot of new interesting oh, things uh, <laughs> in terms of like viewer experience. So please, thank you so much for joining in with us as we get started. All right, players are doing their warm-ups right now. We can use this as an opportunity to kind of give an overview of the players themselves. Uh, mm -hmm. So if you guys will check the stream right now, we actually have some insight as to specifically where the players are from and what kind of uh, skills that they claim to be the best and worst at. Ailu Rose and Full Jim. Do you have information about the players you would like to share? Man, I wonder who Ailu <laughs> Rose is. I wouldn't have any sort of bias or any potential insight as to what kind of person they would be. But, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Ailu Rose on the right side. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Teaching Adrian how to cut off the game as soon as possible. Yeah, but Ailu Rose, she's, uh, she plays mostly 15s and 16s. She's trying to go for more 17s. The only 17s she has right now are based off like foot speed 
And so like sickness, oh, okay. uh, battle number one and chase me. How's and the twist ability? So the thing is, she can do the twist. The only issue is that her feet are super small. So uh, she actually doesn't end up reaching it properly. So she ends up short circuiting. Okay. Uh, as for, I believe currently we have Jordy P on the left side. All right, let me make sure that we've got this perfectly. Scan the other side. All right, log in the other side first, and yep. then that side. Yep. Perfect. Right. We're getting it. It's happening. Excellent. Excellent. Yeah, um, so we're about to get pool one underway. Uh, as a reminder, you can see the contestants' four names in the top right. And uh, we should briefly flash the card draw. Uh, let's pull that up, see what we have as the players are getting into it. So first they're going to be playing Dement S15, then Yogg-Sothoth S14, Infinity S15, and then Cleaner S13 to end it off. So yeah, they're, I going mean, to, they're going to play all four of them. And then the next batch, uh, the other two players, Nova and Jordan Pai, will hop on afterwards and repeat the same. And in terms of how scoring is going to work for this, essentially what we're going to have is that uh, for each round, uh, players are going to get a score on it, right? With Phoenix scoring, it's going to be from anywhere from zero to a million. And whoever has the highest score in the pool of four people will get five points. Second place will get three points. Third place gets two. Last place gets one. That's right. And then we're going to add all of them at the end. And whoever the top two players with the most points in that given round will be advancing to the next pool. And unfortunately for the other two players, they will be eliminated. Yeah. So we're just going to get straight into it. Dement S15, uh, one of the, well, I guess recent charts in XX perspective, but now that we're in Phoenix, it's been around. I believe that this is a Conrad chart, which is a little bit more on the high BPM, uh, eight note twisty side of things, but we'll just have to see how this chart goes. Ilu Rose with the full combo so far. All right, both. Huh? Wait, wait, wait. I'll, I'll flip it. I, don't, I want to flip it. I'll do it. I'll do it. You can turn the yeah. commentators back on. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. What? <laughs> Twisting. Going for the twisting. Yeah, Jordy P getting a string of perfects while Ailu Rose is getting a couple of grades and goods, which in this game really hurts you because a grade is actually worth 60% of a normal score. So although uh, Ailu Rose ended up with the full combo earlier, it's going to hurt her in the long run. Misses what? stacking up. Misses stacking up. Series of bursts. Ah, uh, rough drill at the end. Reminiscent of Escape S15 as well. I see one. This one is for there. Yeah. Wow, double S plus.
Alright, we're getting into the... And it's on the right. All right, apologies for the uh, <laughs> apologies for the hiccups, but it looks like we're back online. So I was I was saying, it's kind of shocking to already see a shortcut show up in the pool of songs, let yeah. alone people actually deciding to play it. Yeah, uh, card draws can come from whole songs, remixes, shortcuts, everything, everything. <laughs> Ooh, the twist cards are definitely giving I was kind of a little bit of trouble. I see what you were saying about like the. Uh, Getting a, a little bit of shortcoming going in for the twist on them. They're definitely going to hurt for some of these cards. Yeah, oh man, Jordy P getting a double S plus on both songs so far. Strong contender for being potentially first in the pool. All right. Excellent, excellent work. So, uh, what, what is, there are two, still two more charts to go. That's right, and not yet, yeah, not, uh, we also still have two players left, so Ilu Rose actually still has a chance to potentially make it second in the entire pool. So if you guys are watching the entire stream, you're noticing that someone is kind of falling apart in the 1v1. Be aware that it's actually a 1v1, v1, v1. <laughs> so th the other player still has a chance. Like first and second place might be playing beside each other. So don't forget to keep them both in check, you know? It's like a four player free for all. Yeah. They're going into their third chart now, it's infinity. Infinity. I have no other understanding of how this could possibly go other than it's a really twisty chart. Yeah, Ilu Rose, actually, a common pattern with her is that she's been able to keep up the combos, but she's just been getting too many greats and goods for it to count. And especially... Phoenix scoring. Phoenix scoring. Okay, both players are looking really solid. Um, yeah, yeah, that's good. Yeah. It is bad swinging on the drills, but that's okay. That's okay. There's still a lot of room in the chart left. <laughs> it's not yeah, the shortcut Jordy that P we had in our left attempt. So. All right, Jordy P, though, still still full combo and all perfect so far. With some grades here and there mixed there. Hitting these triplets pretty solidly. Oh, nice! Wow. I think this is good. Sound check? <laughs> Sound check. Hello, hello. We have to talk real close into the mics, I believe. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I can hear you. You oh, can hear me. I can't, I can't though. You, you can't? It's not coming out of my head. Test, can you hear? Can you hear? Test, test, one, two. Oh. Yeah, his. Uh, okay. As long as you can hear both of us. <laughs> Uh, 
All right, I know uh, Ilu Rose is actually somewhat experienced with this chart, but she gets a string of goods and grades during some of the wider foot movements. You'll see with a cleaner, there's a lot of turns that actually don't use the yellow panel, which makes your feet have to travel that much more, which in this kind of level context is actually really draining. Here it comes. Uh, Island Rose breaking a little bit there. It is tournament time indeed. I saw the message in Twitch chat just now. It is tournament. This is, for those of us just tuning in, uh, this is Game Underground Arcade Championship 7, Pump It Up Phoenix Tournament Edition. <laughs> uh, we are in pool one of a waterfall format that's going to go 10 pools total, I believe. And uh, we have 18 contestants who are fighting for those two spots that are go going for the pro bracket that is starting tomorrow. Uh, so. Every round of the pools, you can see the players going. They're trying their hardest to fight Claw for that spot. Um, and we have the first two of the four players up right now. Eily Rose and Full Jam. Right, we're still in pool sets. one. So this is actually the first couple of matches in the entire day. It's You'll only going to get harder. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to have a lot of fun charts for you guys. Bah. And they finish their set. Players are getting off. We're recording their scores, and we're going to be showing them side by side while the other two players are competing so that we can see a great score comparison of what we're going for and what Nova and Jordan will have to kind of compare themselves to. Uh, not just seeing if they beat their opponent on pad with them, but in total the entire pool. Yeah, and Jordan we're gonna have P getting, um, for, you for the most part, yeah. out double S's across the board. Really strong contender for first place in this pool, uh, uh, potentially. But uh, don't count the other two players out yet, because they're actually... The reason why they're playing second is because they're higher seeds, which means that in the qualifiers, they actually played better. So we can expect to see uh, overall like stronger performances in the second time around. But it's not to say that someone who's seated low wouldn't necessarily be a little bit higher. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, so was Folk Gem or Jordan playing with Ailu just now? Sorry? Was Folk Gem or Jordan playing? That was Jordan. That was Jordy. Jordan. So now we're getting Folk Gem and uh, Nova on right now. Got, got some insight, actually. Uh, Folk Gem is... He's a cousin of one of the pro players here. And... Um, he hasn't competed in years, is what I've been hearing, but that does say that uh, Full Jam has a history with playing in tournament. Okay. So as for Nova, he's participated in last year Boston's uh, tournament called Boston Innovated, also held that game underground. Um, aside from that, I'm not necessarily sure about how his tournament no, experience no, is. Nova's relatively new to the tournament scene, but has been uh, very invested in the Pump It Up community. Yeah. I can attest to that. Uh, very, very friendly guy and is very much the kind of guy to look for insight and like lean on the shoulders of other players yeah, to right. see, uh, hey, I've looked at this chart online, like how do you execute this pattern? Or you see this pattern. So he's very much like treating pump instructionally. And I think that pays dividends in the long run. Right. So. Very new player with a fresh perspective. Nova actually. Oh, he's in good hands. From yeah, right. <laughs> he's had very an good exponential hands. growth ever since he started. Yeah. And he's also got a really healthy background in general. So oh, it'll yeah. help with uh, the stamina in this game, though. In Pump It Up, like a game like that, one would argue that it's not about how much stamina you have, but it's actually about your technique. Because a lot of Absolutely. stamina won't matter if you're not able to hit the arrows properly <laughs> and efficiently. Especially yeah. once we start looking at the higher levels later on down the line. Yeah, uh, it's going to be... Uh... An excellent showcase today of both stamina, fortitude, uh, chart knowledge, uh, physical limits, ability, and uh, technique. Uh, 
everything goes into this game. It's, right. There are so many layers. Uh, but players are hopping on for their warm-up right now. Uh, just like the two players prior, they will get one chart of warm-up, and then they will hop right into their entire set. And if I'm not mistaken, Fault Jam actually opting to go with the multiplier for speed instead of just regular A, B. We're going old Maybe school. Maybe gives you perspective, yeah, as <laughs> to how recent he's been playing this game. <laughs> Hey, I don't judge. Yeah, I mean, when he came up to me, he said he hasn't been playing in years. Maybe he literally hasn't been playing in years. Who knows? He might have skipped a couple of versions completely. Back in my day in Prime 2015. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent warm-up song, though. I think it's uh, this is a great way to like stabilize your twitch speed. Uh, make sure you kind of can find yourself on the pads. Uh, and, you know, yeah. It's the S15. It's going to feel kind of quick. It's actually a really good choice of warm-up because as we saw from the previous four songs, a lot of them were 200 slash 210 BPM, eighth note, twisty runs. So this will be a very good way for them to kind of catch their beat and keep up with this high speed in this pool specifically. Yeah, they're going to have a tall order trying to get uh, the second spot if they can't catch up to Adrian. Right, <laughs> yeah. Very so solid performance. It's uh, really intimidating if you're a higher seed, you watch the lower seed play, but they get double S's across the board. It kind of sets you a lot of expectations and pressure on you as a player to be able to meet that standard. Yeah. Series of jacks. Wow, Full Jam easily just going through that. This is just a classic show of old techniques die hard versus Nova, who is a new player who is growing. It was so funny watching him play yesterday. Uh, what was it? S imprinting S17. He was yeah. like calling out the techniques as he was playing them. He was like, Jax, twists, <laughs> uh, hold note. <laughs> he's thinking. He's, his brain is, his gears are turning while he's playing, and that's what I love to see. Man, nice. Wow. <laughs> yeah, Fulcia putting on a really strong start. That's an intimidating factor. I. I Starting us off with a full, uh, with a, sorry, full combo, right. An all combo, you would say, because a good actually in this game doesn't count towards your combo. That is, oh, one of the things about warming up next to the person you're playing with in your pool, that, you you see how they played in their warm up. That kind of can affect your mental going into the actual set. Yeah, for sure. But it doesn't matter. It, it's just a warm up. <laughs> if sometimes I think in tournaments, players go all out in the warm up and they exert themselves so much, and then they get to the actual set and they're burnt out. But I, I don't think that's the case with these players here. I think they're very strong and comfortable in this level. So yeah, before the next couple of songs begin, let's quickly look at the bio. Uh, Bolchan from Connecticut and Nova from New Jersey, although an FDP player at present, I believe. Uh, you can kind of see from their strongest skills shown on the thing too. Bolchan, uh on the right of this camera view here, uh, picks run as strongest skill and gimmick as weakest. Uh, I would, uh, well, I, I don't want to be presumptuous, but typically of like old school players with that really good foundational technique, even Edison or HDS at a certain degree was, uh, he's a really good player with extremely solid fundamentals, number one seed for this entire tournament. His chart knowledge at the time wasn't exactly there. So that's a common pattern that I noticed with a lot of He's beginner player, or sorry, not beginner, old school players. <laughs> His title was beginner because he didn't have any of the titles. Or... Right, and I can, I can expect a lot of the other players in uh, the pro bracket, since Phoenix mm. is such a recent game to also have the beginner title. <laughs> I, I put my XX title in for the little card thing. Um, yeah, they're getting into their first one now. An early drop by Nova, but it's not going to impact as much with Phoenix scoring. This has to get through the rest of the chart. And again, this is also in comparison with Eilerose and Jordan's scores, which you can see in the top right. That's yeah. one of my favorite things about this layout is that you have 
live comparison, you know real time uh, who's, uh, where people will stand. Firelabs, good to see you in chat. I just saw the, uh, the Twitch chat. Very fun. Very fun seeing you and having you compete. Uh, wish you were here this time. Let's see the players get into this uh, kind of tricky section where you have very brief uh, decks, but for the most part, not too twisty yet. Still getting into it. Ooh, the foot speed kind of tripping up Nova a little bit. Gets the twists. Picks up a few greats. Full jam breaks combo. Yeah, based off of Full Jam's uh, his form, it's looking like he's putting a lot of his energy into hitting the arrow specifically. But a when you're kind of, of demanding to, when you're kind of demanded to do these, uh, where you have to put your foot at the far back, it's kind of hard to commit to that because if you're wrong, then not only you miss the no potentially, but you're also going to be on track to miss a couple of other ones in the future, so... Uh, but as long as you have the stamina tank for it, if you're looking at the judgments, they were really solid. You can see the scores there. It is short of Jordan's, the top seed for this, uh, for this pool of players who played with Ailu just prior. Uh, but in terms of point distribution, that means uh, Jordan will get five points for this. Uh, Full Jam will get three, Nova gets two, and Ailu Rose gets one. Yo, it's Jeff. Welcome. Nice. Wait, wait, wait. Uh. Ah, ah, ah. I see. I see. I see. I see. Yeah, I lose. I lose takes two. My mistake. Higher than Nova, so yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah, so the scores are updated for uh Yogg shortcut. Uh, and these are the scores that the players will have to are gunning for for this next one. Nova on the right, full jam on the left. Heading into their second song now. Too close? Okay. All right, so basically this chart is everything that we saw, is like the hardest parts of Dement, but in one shortcut. And it's it says it's one difficulty lower, and sure, it's 10 BPM slower, but I would still, if you're confused with the pattern, you're going to eat a lot of greats anyway. So we're just gonna have to Nova's see. Nova's showing that his twist, he, he put strongest skill as twist for a reason. Look at him go. Yeah, I he, mean, the thing about uh, Nova is actually, he's really used to reading really wonky patterns and asking himself why, and like, how do you hit that? He's so as soon as studies. he recognizes the patterns, you can really see it in his, the way he plays. He's really confident in just nailing those turns. Look at him right here. Both players are wow. going out for these twists. All right, both players both breaking players at around the same time, but... Uh, understandably, look at the chart. Yeah. <laughs> it's a shortcut after all. It's going to be weird. You can see the judgment distribution uh, coming up right now. Nova picked up 73 greats versus the 49 wow. from Fulcham, and that was the difference maker. That was the difference maker. I'm still so used to XX scoring where you're looking at combo breaks, and Nova only had four. 
mm -hmm. and they're kind of concentrated. But his score is lower versus the six combo breaks by Cold Jam. Yeah, it's a little nerve-wracking in this game because what we used to expect from tournaments in like XX was that someone with a really high combo, we typically expect them to win because of the scoring system. But now, even if someone retains a really good combo, if you see a lot of those greens, if you see a lot of green yeah, and yellow, yeah, then you can start to get a little skeptical. Even if they have the better combo, you're kind of just like, no, don't you, do that. You saw the greats. You, you, could, saw the, you, see, you could see the greats stack up on Nova's side. Yeah, the things that reinforce players like on a psychological standpoint in this game should definitely be different for XX because you can feel like you're really popping off in a charge just because you're retaining this combo, but then you're greeted with a really nasty bronze double A and you have to ask yourself, <laughs> wait, I thought what I full comboed it, right? Yeah. A lot of players transitioning from older versions of Pump into this game actually have that issue where they would get Superb Game, Extreme Game, which uh, for those of you guys who don't understand the badges, I get you, but it basically means no miss versus no miss and no bads. So a lot of players moving on from XX to Phoenix would be getting those badges, but they'd be getting really low scores and they'd be asking themselves like, what's happening? And then they'd see it. Oh. There's another variable in this game. It's called the great count. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> oh, I got a 150 greats. I right. see. Right. <laughs> They're getting into their third song now. Ooh, the drill tripping up Nova slightly. I didn't realize while we were sort of getting out the logistics and kinks. Look at Jordan's score that they're fighting for in this. Yeah, I mean, I, what can you say? He just got, he just kept getting a bunch of double S, double S pluses. He's like a really yeah. scary player. Terrifying. That is terrifying for this pool, which means it's kind of looking like the remaining players are really fighting for that coveted second spot. Yeah. To make it through. Currently, full Jam taking the lead. I love how you can see in the back, a lot of the competitors from tomorrow are here. Uh, Everyone, yeah. Shadowing. <laughs> People just have the top players have their arms crossed in the back like, <laughs> what is this? They need to, you know, cultivate and make sure the new generation is <laughs> they're in good hands. <laughs> <laughs> real respect's real. Excellent, excellent. Let's see the scores. Nova taking third place for that one, and Full Jam taking second. Jordan taking that coveted first spot, and I believe Jordan runs away, guaranteed to go on to the next round. Yeah, There's, I would uh, think so with too. 15, first place on three charts, you're, there's no way you're not making it through. Uh, especially, uh, first place is getting five points for every single uh, uh, song. Where second place only gets three points. to their last one now. They're fighting for the second place spot. Um, ooh, 
actually, what situation would it have to be where Bolt Jam takes, doesn't make it through? Uh, that would be Nova getting first place. Yeah, he would have to get first one. place, and then Bolt Jam would really have to. Oh, Bolt Jam would have to get last, and then they last. would go into tiebreaker. Right. That's a very tall order, and it's looking yeah. like a very steep slope. Yeah, to Bolt Jam is not letting that happen, as you can see right here. Great finish for both players. Both of them with the insane tech at the ending just to show off a little bit. Get the ass on it. That is a second place finish for both Jim and a first place for Jordan. And we will see them again in pool two. Yeah.